So this customer comes in. They're complaining about their brake pedal being too hard to depress to stop the vehicle. This is a definite safety issue. We did the usual checks. First off, we checked the brake booster to make sure it's not leaking. We also drove the car ourselves, and it's even noticeable to us. The problem, it's not with the brake booster, the master cylinder, both the calipers in the front are moving freely. The issue is actually the friction material. With the friction material that was used on the last brake job, just recently, it's a little too aggressive. And in fact, it's the wrong formulation for the vehicle. In this case, they used a semi-met brake pad in an application that calls for a ceramic pad. This is what's changed the brake pedal feel. So you've got to look at this from a grand equation of the brake system and the brake pedal feel. Engineers out there for the OEM, they're looking at the size of the booster, the master cylinder, and the sizing of it. They're looking at the calipers, the size of the rotors. But the one deciding factor is the friction material. If the wrong friction material is used, it's going to counteract everything with the booster and the master cylinder to cause issues with the brake pedal feel. In the case of this, while well, that more aggressive semi-met makes the brakes have more friction when they're cold and also hot. In this case, well, it causes that high brake pedal because they don't have to use as much force to stop the vehicle. But this is not correct. You should use a high quality brake pad that matches that OEM specification. In this case, we're going to use a brake pad that is a ceramic that matches the OEM performance. This way, we're going to know when this car drives out of here, the brake pedal feel, it's going to be like it was when it was brand new. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.